Weekly update for Friday, December 8th, 2017. And uh, this is going to be a real quick weekly update because I'm just swamped with work here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, every year, uh, Jeff Seiler, uh, in honor of the fact that I give equal weight to Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, uh, sends me both a Christmas card and a Hanukkah card. So this year's this year's Hanukkah card from Jeff Seiler is the Beatles' top ten Hanukkah songs. Huh? You didn't know that. I got my uh, Leo Rostin, The Joys of Yiddish. I have been making a list of my pronunciations and checking it twice. And here we go with the Beatles' top ten Hanukkah songs. Number 10. Everybody's got something to hide except me and my dreidel. Okay. Uh, number 9. Instant Tor is gonna get you. That actually isn't a Beatles song. That's a, that's a John Lennon song. But uh, that's number nine. Number eight, Magical Miracle of the Oil Ant Acid Tour. Less said about that one, the better. Number seven, I'm just a jealous guy. That's another John Lennon song. What's, uh, what's up with this? This was supposed to be the Beatles' top ten Hanukkah songs. Uh, number six, baby, you can light my menorah. I just read them. I don't write them. Uh, number five, with a little help from my Meshuggah booby. Uh, number four, I want to hold your brisket. Give it a second, it'll grow on you. Number three, happiness is a warm vodka. Number two, all you need is gelt. Wah, 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 wah. All you need is gelt. I like that one. And the number one, Beatles Hanukkah song of all time. Eight days to eat. Da -na 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 -na. Anyway, thank you, Jeff Seiler, and uh, we'll be back next week with uh, Jeff Seiler's Christmas card. But uh, now on to business. So yes, to business. But uh, first, uh, sincere, happy Hanukkah wishes to uh, all of our Jewish viewers. Uh, Hanukkah starts on Wednesday this year, the 13th, and runs through the 20th. And the big news this week, here it is, Service Archive number 7. We actually have one of them put together to show you, and this is going to come as a surprise to a lot of people. Uh, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, and... It's going to be numbered out of 175. That is the absolute rarest Cerebus Archive portfolio uh, that we've ever done. Uh, all the rest of them have been up around 300. So uh, those of you who got in on the deal, congratulations. You now have one of the, rare, the rarest the rarest Cerebus Archive portfolio uh, making its way to you hopefully before Christmas. Uh, I, was, I was just up at uh, Studio Comics Press today and uh, the surveys are coming in lickety split. So good on all of you for uh, getting your surveys filled out uh, out of the 160 um, surveys that uh, that we're supposed to be getting in actually 210 with uh, all of the Christmas card orders 
I think we're up around 140 or 160 uh, just a couple of days after the end of the Kickstarter campaign. And thanks to everybody again for participating in that. And uh, yes, be watching your mail for your numbered out of 175 ultra rare um, service archive portfolio. And word from Matt Dow that he's already heard from a couple of people. Ah, I missed it. I missed the Kickstarter. Can I get uh, can I get the service archive number seven portfolio? Uh, yeah, but I'm afraid you're going to have to wait for a while because uh, we're uh, we're going to be working on getting another ad for Diamond Previews to put all seven Cerebus archives in one ad and try and move some of the inventory that Diamond has of the uh, uh, the Cerebus archives that are just signed on the front. It's not all of the different plates. It's, uh, it's just signed on the front for the Diamond edition. And uh, that's going to be uh, at least uh, two or three months before we can get an ad together and get uh, get a uh, purchase order from Diamond. Uh, they can't give it an, a, a product code until they've actually had it in previews and they can't have it in previews until we get an ad to them. So sorry if you missed the Kickstarter, but uh, yeah, there's only going to be 175 of them this time. Okay, so that takes care of Kickstarter business for right now. And uh, just before we go away, wanted to let you have a look. I am, I am pleased as punch that uh, I was able to finish my part of You Don't Know Jack number one. It is off my desk and onto Carson's drawing board and Sean's computer. And we'll be keeping you updated on the progress of You Don't Know Jack number one, the prequel to uh, Strange Death of Alex Raymond. And here it all is, starting with the uh, front cover in the upper left corner, inside front cover, and the 23 individual pages that make up You Don't Know Jack number one. And we're all we're we're all pretty jazzed about this at this point, having uh, having labored over it. I think it's getting better and better as we go along. And uh, looking forward to we think it's going to be the most unique way to um, publish a first issue of a comic book, uh, a one shot, which will be. Uh, as an art catalog first, which will have all of the pages from You Don't Know Jack number one, and then uh, reproductions in the back of the individual drawings that are up for auction. Uh, Carson and I being among the last two people on the planet who still actually draw comics on art paper, uh, we will be doing an art auction uh, Kickstarter so uh, you will be able to buy an auction catalog that uh, will let you read You Don't Know Jack, number one, before anybody else does. So more details on that as we go along. But right now i got to get to the uh, eight-page Strange Death of Alex Raymond preview that will be appearing in the back of You Don't Know Jack, number one. Okay, thanks everybody for tuning in this week, and I uh, hope we'll see a bunch of you next week for the weekly update for December 15th, which will be right in the middle of uh, Hanukkah. <laughs>